exquisite bowls are made from a solid piece of hardwood, beech, maple, walnut, or cherry. Logs arrive at the bowl mill fresh from the forest, so they're still very damp. That's an advantage, because the moisture lubricates the cutting tools. The first step is to divide it into blocks. The chainsaw operator measures and inspects the log. The diameter and defects, such as knots or scarring, dictate the length of each block. He inspects the ends of the block, marking any cracks or other flaws with a red crayon. The rip saw operator uses different size bowl patterns to determine the best way to cut the block. The goal is to get the most and biggest bowl size pieces possible without using the defective areas. Each bowl size piece is called a bowl blank. This block is large enough to yield three blanks, each one wide enough to produce a 43 centimeter bowl and a series of progressively smaller bowls that nest inside it. They mount the blank on a specially designed woodworking lathe. From this point on, everything depends on the skilled hands of the lathe operator. As the block spins, he carves out the bowls using a series of specialized knives that this mill designed and forged. First, he uses this curved knife to shear off the outer portion. It takes great expertise to know exactly how to angle the tool and when to pull it out to release the wood shavings and prevent a jam. After two or three minutes, what they call the exterior bark shell is off. The bare wood that's left is the outside of the largest bowl that he'll mill from this blank. With a finer blade, he sculpts the wood to just the right thickness and smooths the surface. Now he switches to a smaller curved knife and cuts into the wood. This both forms the inside of the largest bowl and the outside of the next, smaller one. He repeats the smoothing and cutting process with progressively smaller knives, making bowl after bowl at a rate of about one a minute. This one bowl blank produces four nested bowls, the smallest measuring about 23 centimeters in diameter. The bowls are steamed for about four hours to draw out the sap and penetrate the pores of the wood, hydrating each bowl uniformly. That way the wood doesn't crack and split while air drying. Once a bowl is dry, about a month later, workers even out the top rim on a sanding table. Then, using a belt sander, they smooth the outside and inside surfaces. now goes upside down through a specialized knife that shaves off part of the bottom. This gives the bowl a flat base on which to sit and a place to inscribe the company name. Businesses can order custom-made bowls featuring their company logo. Artists burn the design into the wood or paint it on or do a combination of both. The bowls now go for a bath in food-safe mineral oil. This nourishes the wood, preventing dryness and cracks. Oiling also brings out the natural beauty of the wood grain. And because every raw log is unique, no two bowls are ever alike.